Hey everybody, in this episode we're going to talk about canopy anchors and um, the main benefit between a canopy anchor and a basal anchor is that with a canopy anchor uh, when a climber goes up onto their line um, for a single rope it's only going to put their total weight onto the limb. Um, versus if they were to make a basal anchor, then it would put twice the climber's weight onto the limb because of the physics. So, you know, if you're working on a tree, especially if, you know, you don't have a really big juicy limb to uh, connect to, you might want to consider a canopy anchor. Canopy anchors in general are, I think, a lot easier to, um, take down sometimes easier to install as well so there's a lot of benefits um, so the first way and the easiest way that you can make a canopy anchor is by just simply tying an alpine butterfly on the end that you will be using to pull it down and then you put the other end through it. And there you go. Now you can um, pull this up and you'll have a anchor to go SRT. Um, the only downside, well the main downside of this is that it's got a lot of rope on rope friction um, right here and it's, if you were to go up and do a few redirects, chances are you'll never get it down. So um, that's why it's better to create a system where there's less friction and one of the ways you can do that is by before you put the line up over the limb you slip a ring slip a ring onto the end that you know you're using to pull it down and then um, with that ring you can now tie an alpine butterfly with a ring in it. So there you have that. And now this time when you put your line through it, there is a lot less rope on rope friction in the system. I mean, I can feel it. It's it's tangible. So, um, yeah, the um, the next system that you can use is the pulley. So, if you want even less friction in the system, you can move this and you can build this if I just make a regular alpine butterfly And then you connect a pulley to the system. There's a carabiner and just a pulley. This is not really the type of pulley that you want to be using. I'm just using it for demonstration purposes. Um, what you really want to be using is something like a pinto pulley, where it's got a you know a 50 kilonewton um, MBS. So, you would put the pulley on, 
and then on this end here, slip the pulley through, and then put your carabiner, oops, put your carabiner through like this, and try to have the spine up like that. That way, nothing gets cross-loaded on the way up, and then um, it's a much smoother uh, ascent, and it just works a whole lot better. And that way, when you do, you know, two or three redirects, this thing comes out a lot easier. Um, so, what else is there? There's also, if you happen to create, if you happen to create a um, alpine butterfly, but forget to put the ring on the opposite side first, then there's a way you can put a ring on it after the fact. And the way you would do that is, hold on, by doing this, you would take your alpine butterfly and you would enlarge it um, substantially. You want to get a nice big loop. So. So now that I have this big loop, I'm going to look for the side that's, uh, that has two parallel um, strands, not the one that is crossed over. So a good way to remember is um, X means no, parallel means go. So then you would take this ring and feed it onto the alpine butterfly's loop, then you're going to open up these parallel strands and then bring the loop through and then back over itself like this. And then what you end up with is a double loop alpine butterfly with a ring on it. So that's pretty neat and pretty handy to know. I have a video on this if this was hard to uh, figure out. So you can check that video out. It's under um, double loop alpine butterfly. Um, I actually have two videos. So what's next? Um, the next one is the Texas Tug, and what that is, is it is um, two alpine butterflies and one with a pulley. So, start with one alpine butterfly. Okay, and then a second alpine butterfly right around here. Okay, so at this point, what you want to do is you want to feed your rope through just the first um, alpine butterfly. And then next, you're going to take your pulley and put it onto the rope. So put it on and then 
connect like this. And then what you can do is you can pull this up And now you have, oh, you kind of want, you want these like, I kind of messed this up, hold on. Right. Try to have your uh, carabiner sideways like this so nothing happens. But with this, you can see that now the, there's no, loading onto the pulley so you don't have to worry about any sort of like cross loading or weirdness with the pulley and now most of the rope on rope friction is going to be eliminated because if you make a redirect and you have this pulley up here I mean this rope up here then because of the pulley it's going to make it a lot easier to take it down so yeah that's the Texas tug and this is a favorite of a lot of people. Okay, what's next? Um, so next we have using a quick link. And most people use what's called a notch quickie. And that is a really popular quick link. Um, it looks something like this. You don't want to actually use something like this because of the fact that it could become unscrewed during your climb. Um, but it does, you know, somewhat resemble this, and it, except it has a slick pin coming out the other side to prevent it from inadvertently opening. Now, what's good about this, I'm not sure if I'm able to get this on with my thickness of my rope, but what makes this option popular is that you would tie an alpine butterfly and what makes it popular is you have it on here and then put through the other side of your rope like that and this makes it removable at height and that's a huge benefit you know, if you want to move it around or what have you. And so, there's that. And you don't have to worry about cross-loading because it's, you know, there's, it can be loaded in all directions. Um, there's a very small chance of it being, of that slick pin being manipulated by a limb or something and opening. So next, we have the midline attachable anchor and I'll show you what that is um, that looks you can you are able to connect this um, from the ground you can um, put install this from the ground excuse me and you can also, um, you know, using a throw line, but you can also install it when you're up there. And um, here's what it is. It's basically, you want a minimum of a 22 kilonewton uh, loop runner. And then you take... Put it over. Okay, so on one side you're going to have um, just a carabiner, or I highly recommend that you, if you like this system, you invest in a, a DMM revolver or similar sort of like a roll clip uh, from Petzl. One of the uh, one of the uh, carabiners that's got a little pulley on it to make this have less friction in the system. And then 
you install on the other side um, a pulley. Once again, I recommend the DNM uh, Pinto pulley. And then you're going to install your rope. And then this just goes on like that. And so you can see why having, you know, a caravan with a pulley on it would be beneficial on this side as well to reduce friction in the system. And what you want to do to make this into a canopy anchor is you want to tie a alpine butterfly on the pulley side. And to be safe, you're going to want to put a carabiner through that to make sure that there is no damn way that this, you know, knot is getting through there. Um, so this is great. This means that, you know, no matter, I mean, you could do as many as like four or five redirects with this system, especially if you have the roll clip or the, you know, the, the carabiner with the pulley on it. Um, then, you know, pulling this out is just, it's like butter. Um, you know, even with the redirects, which is great. This is a really popular system. Now, to get it down, um, if you have, if you have um, a regular end to your um, rope like if you I have right now I have a sewn eye on this so I can just um, effectively put this little uh, XSRE carabiner on it just in case it would probably work with the eye only but you know I like to be careful um, but if you don't have an eye on the end, you can, um, what you can do is, if you imagine that this is the end of the rope, you can stick the little pointy part in and feed it through. Jeez, it's not working today, but um, you can feed it through and then it'll get stuck on here and then it'll be almost like a throw ball. Um, oops. So what I do is I put it on the eye, the sewn eye, lock it up, and then I just pull it through like that. And if you wanted, you could use a throw line also to make sure that you're not dropping your equipment from, you know, however many feet high you're up there. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the um, midline attachable. And now, the finale. I am going to show you the last canopy anchor for us today and what that is going to be is it's going to be a friction saver um, canopy anchor so that you can connect yourself to a stem so here So you would, this is a, um, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is a adjustable friction saver. It's got a Prusik on here that allows it to be adjusted. And so, um, 
Next, you would just simply put it around whatever you're trying to connect to, and then you feed it through the small eye first, then the big eye, and at this point, you're going to want to you're going to want to make sure that you have separation of at least a fit a fist width here, and um, so you can do that. Not quite enough. Still not quite enough. So yeah, that's about a fist. This is obviously a little smaller than what you might want to actually climb, but on, but so now when I go to use this, I put an alpine butterfly in on the side with the small eye, and then I pull it through, it gets jammed, and then now I have my single rope to climb on. And it's going to stay here because it's cinching down nicely. And finally, you want to be safe and put carabiner through here. Make sure the knot does not come undone or pull through the eye. Um, yeah, and one more last safety bit. I like to, right where this prusik is here, I like to put a um, stopper knot. I'm just doing a double overhand here. That way my prusik cannot, you know, come undone unless I want it to. So I won't, you know, fall down the tree. Um, yeah. This has been my little episode on canopy anchors. I hope you found it to be helpful. Uh, if you have any comments, please share them with me down below. And um, hit like if you found this educational or entertaining. Um, and if you like my con content, please subscribe. Thanks so much. That'll do it. Bye.